the year is 2017. I made an announcement to all my fellow subscribers and supporters that I will be quitting the gaming scene. And so I did. Nor for me to pursue bigger dreams and go towards bigger visions I had. It's the Princess Anastasia phase. It was my first ever EP that I fully produced and everything myself. Recorded, engineered everything. And it was a fun experience uh, for me to experiment not only with sound and my style, just try shit, new shit out. Ever since then, I've really been, um, you know, just working, working on this music like crazy and working on beats. I'm a producer now, producer, artist. I, I make beats. I select art, other artists uh, that I look around me, you know, down for any collabs. Um, right now, I'm working with F1 Management. And they are basically a collective of artists, uh, producers, videographers, all that. And um, yeah, right now I'm in a team, uh, you know, working towards our goals. Right now I'm, I'm at that stage where I got, the, I feel like I got the talent, I got the beats down, I got it. I just need to learn how to network now. Networking. Getting to know new people, you know, all that shit. Um, really, through all this Princess Anastasia and all my music before then, I was more of an anti-social so anti -social person. I didn't really go out a lot, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would just be locked in making this shit, making this music. Um... I was really an introverted stage of mine, but as time went on, I realized, you know, I'm gonna have to do more. I'm gonna have to step it up, like, cause at first it was just me being an artist, you know, a rap nigga. You know, I thought it was gonna be easier. You know what I'm saying? A blow up. You know what I'm saying? It's been four years, really. Four years. I thought that shit was probably gonna take a year or two, to be completely honest, when I first started. But only as time went on and I wasn't getting the results I wanted and, and shit just kept happening. Um, I was, I just felt like I had to go harder. Like, there's no excuse, you know what I'm saying? It only made me go harder. I wasn't just going to give up on this. And so I did. I picked up producing. I know how to produce now, you know. I know how to I learn how to sing. I'm trying to learn how to sing, you know what I'm saying? I signed up for classes. I did everything to improve myself. Learn an instrument. Like, this is where we're at now. Falling from Heaven stage. The first mixtape I ever produced and engineered everything myself. Wrote. Um, I'm not, I can't say that. I feel like I could have do, done better. I could have done better, but I am going to do better on these next tapes because, you know, I learned so much. It's, this is all of, a, like, a progression. Like, through all these songs of mine, all these tastes, like, you slowly see a different me, a newer, more nah, wise me, a more, you know what I'm saying, intelligent because I'm learning every single day this shit, you know, even though it's been so fucking long. You know, it's a blessing. But yeah, I just want to say thank you. I don't want to support. This is where I've been. I'm coming back harder than ever. I'm going to be posting vlogs, music videos, everything. So subscribe. I'm going to be collabing with other rappers pretty soon, other producers. So y'all yeah, want more of that content. Subscribe. Let's get this shit. Okay. This is what life leads to. The bitches to dress, they just creep through. Respect, earn. <laughs> Respect, um, Respect earned. Respect earned. Yes. We'll add the editing on this shit. What is editing. this? The behind the scenes? Yes, it's behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. This was created, got like the universe heard us, and that we were making a Falling from Heaven tape. 
And then like, look, look, look what it brought. It brought all of this shit, all this angelic shit. Why? Because we're making shit happen, right? 